Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Yesterday you watched me thrifting in New York for 48 hours. Well, today I want to show you my haul, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome to the Urban Sewing Society where we bring fashion and creativity to your neighborhood. My name is Jen and I am the Urban Sewist. Thank you so much for joining today. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, please be sure to click that subscribe button below and click on that bell so that you don't miss an update. On this channel, we talk about fashion, upcycling, sewing, thrifting, sustainability, all of those things. If those are things that you're interested in and that's the type of content that you're looking for, then definitely subscribe today. All right, so I did a little thrifting when I was in New York, and if you saw my video last week, I uh, shared with you 48 hours in New York where I hit several thrift stores. So I did pick up a few things, and I wanna share those with you today. First, I'm gonna start with bags. You know, the trend right now are these um, fanny packs, waist bags, bum bags, bum bags, whatever you want to call them. And I ran across this one from Puma, um, which I actually like because it's got padding in here. I did see another one in there by Levi's, which was a little more stylish, but it was, it didn't have that extra cushion in it. So I like this. I like that it was a color that I don't already have. And this is going to be my kind of go-to uh, a fanny pack so I got this um, and we'll see how it works out um, I actually like wearing a fanny pack because it frees up my hands from carrying a bag and so I think that's gonna work out good all right and then you also saw you also saw in the video I was in a woke vintage and I meant to tell you that Puma the Puma bag came from Buffalo Exchange. So that's the only thing I bought at Buffalo Exchange. And then I was in a woke vintage, and I believe it was a woke. I think I'll put the name below. And I saw this cute little colorful bag, and I thought, this is super duper cute. Let me pick it up. I saw this bag as well as a polo um, crossbody bag, and the polo crossbody bag was $65. It was cute, but it was blue. It didn't really have a lot of pizzazz, and I love color. So I picked up this cute little number, and I thought this was nice. It reminds you of a fanny pack, but it fits right under the arm like that. I only have one other bag that fits under the arm like that. I think I only have one. But I thought this was really cute and fun. And so I picked this up and it is by Kipling. Yeah, by Kipling. It's got a little monkey on it. And so it looks like, it looks like maybe, no, nope, I thought maybe the strap would come off. It is adjustable. So I can make it a little longer. I can snap it there and make it a little longer. Or I can snap it up a little higher and I like that because this gives me a better sense of um, security when I'm carrying a bag because it's right under my arm okay so another bag that I picked up was this bag by Roto and as soon as I saw it I was like this really looks like a nice bag and you know I couldn't really tell um, by how it was made you know was it authentic woven like straw and it looks like it is and then I went on and I googled and I tried to find you know some comparable bags online um, and I found one so I felt like this price was good this was only it ended up being only ten dollars um, but I thought it was really nice I love this chain and <laughs> how I can wear it you know it's a crossbody and I just thought it was different it was different it's not like anything I already have in my wardrobe so pick this up um, it's got on the inside a pocket that's lined in gold and snap magnet front closure 
And if you want, you can put the strap on the inside and you can just wear it as a clutch. So I love that. I thought that was really, really nice. Very nice. Okay, so I picked up two pieces of clothing. The first item is this dress by Stella and a lady in the store had it in her hand and then she changed her mind and decided to put it back and so I went and looked at it and then I googled Stella online to see what it goes for and everything in the store that day at Housing Thrift works was half off and so this ended up being twenty dollars I did see this dress online I think the lowest I saw it was like seventy five or eighty dollars and the highest was like 170 but I thought this was so cute it's an off the shoulder or off up the, on the shoulder and it's a little mini dress um, and it's got a nice little weight to it so I'm excited about that didn't go in there looking for a dress actually went in there looking for something a lightweight pant so I ended up getting these pair of pants uh, by free people and I like them because I like plaid and I like that the plaid is kind of on an angle and I like that the pants are wide leg I love that and so I can see myself wearing these with a really nice high heel as a matter of fact do I have them here I don't Gosh, I have these really cute brown, and even this looks like it's a little brown. I have these really cute brown heels. They're like a platform and a heel, and so I have to have a really long pair of pants on with them. And so I think these are going to be really great for that. So that's the clothes that I got. The bulk of what I picked up while I was thrifting, you know it, shoes, because what do I love? I love shoes. So let's get into the shoes that i picked up. now all of these shoes i got were half off i didn't pay full price for anything so as you know if you watch my video my boc cork wedge leather shoes were falling apart and they are so comfortable they are by my front door so that i can take them to uh, the shoe doctor hopefully tomorrow and have them put back together because I just I can't imagine not have those shoes are so comfortable in place of those to hold I don't know you guys I am really feeling cork something about it it's very comfortable um, it just feels really good under my feet and it's really important for me to wear a comfortable shoe these are by Cole Haan and they ended up being I think $11 so good right so good and this is just enough a heel that I can wear every day I can wear this to work I can wear it on the weekend I love that it has this rubber on the bottom I mean this is a good shoe so um, and it was in such good condition. I was looking around the edges to make sure that it wasn't, you know, uh, messed up here. It's hardly any wear on the shoe. I'm looking at the heel. You can still see the H. Let's see if I can get that for you. You can tell it's hardly been worn. The H from the Han is in there. And it's still, they're just really good. They're in great, excellent condition. So, $11 can't beat them. I'm, I'm not a fast fashion kind of gal, but some shoes I'm just not going to spend the money for. And it's almost better for me to just buy a fast fashion piece because I know that it's one season and I'm just not going to wear it anymore. And that's where these are a perfect example of. I saw these when I was at Zara. I thought they were cute. I thought having like a shoe like this would be great to add to my wardrobe. I didn't buy it because I think they wanted like $45 for them. I wasn't paying $45 for that. But I found these in excellent condition. The heel was just very little worn on the black part here. And 
it's a little washed out but they're the camera's not doing it very good any justice but they're bright yellow um they were in my size i honestly i believe somebody um dropped off and donated their shoes like one person because there were like four pairs of shoes there that all fit me they were all 37 european 37 and that's what these are so i'm excited because i really want to wear these with like my cargo pants um because i like when you roll them up and you can kind of see the straps the next one is um a pair that I was like, if I leave with one shoe, it is going to be this shoe. Again, it is another Zara shoe. It is this orange suede kitten heel, which I will tell you the kitten heel was kitten healing because there were no scratches on there on either one. You could tell whoever had these maybe wore them once or twice, hardly worn. They are super comfy. They have this cute little buckle on the side. I just love them. Love them. And these were also, I think, $10. They, no, you know what? These were ten, They were $5. $5. Now, that's what I expect to pay for something like this. And these are so nice. They would have gone well. No, not really. They're a little more orange than the dress I have on today. But, again, another great find. And then my last pair of shoes are these Lucky Brand. And what do you see? You see Cork Heel. I can't get away from them. Oh my gosh. I cannot get away from these Cork Heels. I don't even know if this is like styling right now. But I'm loving the Cork Heels. These are by Lucky Brand. Um, again, super comfy. I didn't think they would be comfortable, but they are. I wore them around the store for a little while. Um, I want to wear these with my cargo pants. I want to be able to switch it up a little bit. My cargo pants are really long, and I like that they're long and kind of big and hang off of me. But I also don't want to wear a flat shoe or a sneaker, which I could. I could wear a sneaker if I want to. I've got that one pair. But I really kind of want to fancy mine up a little bit kind of level up my look kind of you know take it and make it a little more funky and these to me these lucky brand sandals are so cute and so comfortable they're really comfortable up here and that's really important to me because um, I do have a small foot but the the top part of my foot always gives me problems in shoes and so these were really really comfortable so there are my shoes um, so that's my haul. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoy thrifting, you know, a fashion, upcycling, sewing, and putting your wardrobe together by thrifting, then this is your channel. So be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.